it's Friday obviously Monday is a holiday and everybody I like this that's better okay y'all happy Friday everybody you would think because it's Friday people would like be a little bit less stressed it's Friday Ooh, wee. not my camera okay so it's Friday guys you would think it would be a little cool and calm today no I'm it's almost one o'clock and I'm just now leaving the house so I can do my errands people took off like all of majority of my company took off today because indigenous day is on monday this is a holiday on monday so people are saying oh yeah i'm just gonna take off friday because it's gonna be a longer weekend but no people are still blowing up my phone but uh i wanted to take so cola has a appointment today to get two of her boosters but the way it's looking Dylan might have to take Cola he took Crow he took Crow uh, last week and I told him that I was gonna be able to take Cola this week but I don't think I can do it I just don't feel like talking to anybody like my email is as you can see going off you know I, I just I like to deal with people that have common sense <laughs> sometimes I get annoyed because people don't have common sense and yeah but I'm gonna be doing some errands today Applebee's has their uh, one dollar margaritas I see it all over TikTok and it's making me, obviously, want to go to Applebee's and just get the margaritas. I'm not an Applebee's girl. I don't go out of my way to eat at Applebee's, but because there's a sale going on, a drink sale going on, it just is enticing me to go. Uh, Dylan said that we can either go today or tomorrow, it doesn't matter, but tomorrow I am planning to go to Destin with Dylan just to get out of Pensacola because I'm not like I'm I am getting tired of Pensacola <laughs> let me let me let me let me just say that I am getting tired of Pensacola I got clothes in the back so messy but yeah I am getting tired of Pensacola I am tired of seeing the same things I already been to the beach I kind of already know what the beach offers here in Pensacola but the beaches in Destin I heard are low-key better and cleaner even though Pensacola is super clean I, I just don't know how you can even get cleaner than that but um, we're gonna go to Destin go to the outlets and just relax we're not bringing the dogs this time because they are a lot especially Cola because she's still a puppy and she's just so fidgety and she doesn't want to sit still and I actually want to just be able to relax tomorrow I'm not planning to buy anything because to be honest I'm taking a little spending break because yeah the finances got us in a chokehold after this wedding what else and then Sunday is church to be honest Sunday is church and then yeah that's our weekend oh well Monday is is a holiday so I will definitely go to the gym earlier and just relax I've been obsessed with Love Island UK I know I'm late I am late I know I'm late um, I just don't have the chance to watch it consistently when it really aired because of the wedding but now that I have all the free time now I have been watching Love Island UK and I'm obsessed I'm obsessed with Ella 
I'm obsessed with Thai, even though Thai can be a little bit problematic. Um, I'm obsessed with Whitney. I'm obsessed with Catherine. I'm obsessed with like mostly all of them. I really am. I really like how unified they are in Love Island UK versus Love Island US. I watched maybe a couple episodes of Love Island US and I was just like, okay. <laughs> but maybe if, if, maybe I'll change my mind and be like, yeah, I'm gonna try to watch um, Love Island US. We'll see, you never know. I want to really do a lot of errands today. Then I also wanna relax because I'm not gonna lie, Pilates yesterday. Pilates yesterday drained me. That was a tough one. But I see the benefits of Pilates, so that's why I'm gonna keep doing it. Even though it was really just a preparation for the wedding. But I like Pilates. It's like a way to like relax my muscles because I'm always wearing and tearing them due to lifting and I'm kind of just getting over that. Dylan wants me to do kickboxing, but I don't want to do kickboxing because I just feel like, I feel like one, I'm gonna get hurt, and two, it just, it's just a little bit, like, a little bit too much on my joints, and I'm really trying to figure out ways to, like, not be so, not bulky, but I don't want to, I just don't want too much tension on my, on my, um, on my bones. I don't feel like kickboxing is not at the same time very strenuous on your muscles but at the same time it can be you know especially if you become more advanced over time Dylan's about to be doing jiu-jitsu in my time so he's doing that and I was telling him that you know he's been experiencing a lot of back pain and I was like Pilates will help you I'm telling you Pilates will help help you with all that tension on your hip flexors and all of that it will it will it will help but you know how men are they think one way we think another i do need to get my nails done um i love the spot that i usually go to to get my nails done but i don't like and maybe i'm overreacting but i really don't like when nail techs rush you like don't you hate when like you're getting your nails nails done and you feel like the nail tech is rushing because maybe they have a busy day at the salon and they're just trying to just bring as many people in the seat as they can. I don't like that because I've had three cracked nails and I'm not even gonna lie, I, I pay too much money to be coming the next day or the next two days to fix a cracked nail and then I realized that another one is cracked. Like, no, no, I, I pay no, I pay too much money for that. So I'm looking for another spot. I actually found another spot, so I'm gonna go to that spot and um, see how they are. I'm gonna definitely get them cut down because they're dumb long. And then, um, yeah. We'll see how this goes. If they're not good, then I'll go to another place. But I'm not, I'm tired of going to a place where you make an appointment and then you're waiting there for 20 minutes and then you get, sit in the seat and they're, they're rushing you. And I literally told the guy, I said, listen, I lift a lot. I'm, I have two big dogs. I don't want my nails so thin. I don't want them thin. And guess what? He made them thin. because he's probably not paying attention because he's trying to get as many people as he can in, you know, out the door or whatever. And I'm just annoyed. Because if I'm paying for a service, I would like it to be done adequately, correctly. This is just annoying. So yeah, that's, that's my issue right now, so. I mean, we'll see how it goes, but I know it's Friday and I should kind of already expect it to be busy at any nail salon. 
but I'm just tired of going to that same spot and just having the same issues happen again and again and again. Like, I think low-key, maybe my even my wedding nails were cracked up a little bit, but because there were design, there was designs under it, I couldn't really see it. Luckily. Luckily. But I can feel, you know how like you could feel your lift your nail lifting? That's how I felt. And I'm just like, bro, I pay too much money to be doing this. So But yeah. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys though. I'll let you know how it goes. We'll go to the nail salon and do all that fun stuff. Where are you going? Where are you going? Guys, Cola is 40 pounds and she's halfway. Halfway done growing. She's about to be. Uh, 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 uh. She's about to be a huge dog. Huge. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Forty pounds. Crow is seventy pounds, and Crow is. I mean, Cola's already taller than Crow. And she's only eleven months. Oh boy. It's about to be a long couple months. All done. Good girl. She's such a good girl. It took it took us like two seconds. Literally. Got her a booster and then got another booster. And look at us. We are done. They're always busy. And I would have thought at 415 nobody would be in here. Everybody and their mama is in here. But yeah, we're heading back home. And then, yeah, then we just have the rest of the day to, like, relax. So we're probably going probably gonna to go to Applebee's um, as soon as I, like, get dressed and freshen up and stuff. But I'll see you guys when I'm getting ready. You know what we're here for? <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're such a cute dog. I'm out of camera. You are out of camera. Y'all, yeah, I'm just trying to see if these margaritas are going to be strong enough. So we got, we got strawberry first? No, we got mango first. Oh, mango first, yeah. So no we got mango first, and then we're going to get strawberry second. They say that you, you can get three free starting off, but then you can get five total, but you have to have approval from the manager after your third margarita. Keep in mind, y'all, it's our first one. So let's see how strong it is. It's really good. Cheers. <laughs> You like the wings? Yes, I do. You need to eat something while you drink it. Mm -hmm. You can't just be drinking and nothing. You're looking in your belly. That's how a disaster comes yeah, about. I'm in my belly right? I know. You don't have like any like wallpapers like huh are like our applebee's and in, in, in jersey have like our our local towns like like sports stars and really has a wallpaper yeah oh, yeah let me hear you oh no here I'm condescending. <laughs> Bye, y'all. All right, y'all. A bit high. All right, I'm gonna run. Try and get my nails done. Let's see if I can. Oh, you don't like that. You don't 
don't like it being okay let's see if i can get my nails done let's see i always do this i always be like cool let's see if i can get something done when i'm planning to go somewhere else I should have recorded myself in the waxing center, but you know, it it happens so fast that I forget that it's actually going on. Oh, there's leaves. Okay, yeah, guys. I wanted to charge my phone, so that's why I didn't really go right after. Right after, uh, right after get my waxing because Dylan got me breakfast. Cause I didn't have time to make anything this morning. But, um, this is Summer Fridays. It is the best. Besides the Dior, Dior is a little bit more sticky. I think Summer Fridays is just a little bit lighter. I don't know, I think it's a little bit lighter. Um, I love the pink one. What's this person doing? I love the pink one, so I think I'm just gonna stick with the pink. I did get the clear one, but I don't use that as much because I think the pink just gives me more of a of a pop. But yeah, man, I'm about to see about this nail salon. We gonna see. We gonna see. We gonna see. We gonna see. But Saturday. It's like cool. It's not too hot today. It's the perfect weather. Like, if Florida was like this every day, I would love it. Because the air quality is great. It's not too humid. I should have put my earrings in. But, yeah, the air quality is great today. It's going to be high of like 80. I think that's pretty good. I really think that's really, really good, actually. Y'all, I've never been to this nail salon, but I always drive by it because it's literally down the street from my our house. And I mean, it looks like it's renovated. So, because they were um, during the construction phase when we moved here in January. Look at that, not even a three minute ride. Guys, 
We're running late to church. But we're gonna make it though. We're gonna make it. But yeah, it's feeling a little fall weather like here in Florida, so you know, I like it. It's like a perfect like look at her running outside. It's perfect weather to run outside. But yeah, y'all, running late to church. I can't wait to hear the word today. And then I'm gonna cook, clean around the house, and then I'm gonna film a video, a PR video for TikTok. And then yeah, I'm just gonna be cooking and cleaning today. That's really it, because tomorrow is a holiday. So I'm very, very grateful. Because that whole hustle and hustle and bustle getting up for work, even though I work from home on Monday, is just like eh. I'm so digging this fall weather. I'm so digging it, but Dylan is preoccupied. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I will see you later on. Maybe I'll, maybe this time for real, I'll actually will have a snippet of like the word today. Well, we're, we're gonna try because I'd be I'd be uncomfortable in church. <laughs> Sometimes we let difficult people stay in our lives because we feel like we need something from them, because they are fulfilling something in us. Whether it's a sense of identity, maybe a sense of security or a sense of belonging, we put up with a lot of stuff, we don't address a lot of things because so they're fulfilling something in our lives. And I'm telling you, if your purpose is constantly tied to people, you're gonna get tripped up all the time. Your emotional well-being will rise and fall based off other people's emotions. That's exhausting. That's how the life Christ wants you to live. All your needs can be and must be fulfilled in Christ. My Working class made it honest. I, I am being be honest. honest. I am being what honest. What kind of dad drive me to school with? So my dad, no, my dad, what well, it? right, it's not a simple answer what because <laughs> you get your it depends. No, 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 no. Okay, what in the eighties, my dad had a Rolls Royce. <laughs> this looks about done. Yeah, this is done. This is done. This is done. This is done. Y'all, this thing is so good. <laughs> Hello, Fresh did that. Mm. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't want to eat all this because I'm going to eat in dominion noodles. That's for dinner. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to eat the other two of these fajitas. Then I'm going to finish Love Island. UK. Then I'll see you guys for dinner. I am making Indomie noodles because Dylan wants Indomie noodles so bad. I'm joking. That like this is like his favorite, his favorite meal. Look at her. Cola, get up. Look how big she is, y'all. Y'all, and she's still not done growing. Uh. Hey, get get out of the kitchen. She's still not done growing, y'all. I'm kind of nervous because, like, how big is she gonna get? We don't know. But yeah, look at that pimple. Yeah, I've been eating crazy lately. That's why I'm trying to like chill out. Um, yeah. Because life is good. I have nothing to really complain about. And yeah, I'm just gonna cook this, relax. We are off tomorrow, thank God. And then uh, just relax and just enjoy the holiday. 
But yeah, I'm making Indomie noodles. It's one of my specialties. Dylan loves it. I'm tired of making it, but you know, if he loves it, then that's all that matters. <laughs> that's all that matters. There's so much content that we have not posted about the wedding and I'm just so excited because these pictures and videos look so freaking good. They look so good. Oh shoot, okay. Like I was saying, there's so much content to post about the wedding and I just want to relive the wedding again when I look back at our pictures and videos. It's just like, wow, we really did that. These pimples are the state right now. Center of attention, these pimples. But yeah, you guys get what I'm saying. But I'm so excited to post them. But yeah. I'll see you guys when this food is done. Okay, so I made some spinach. And here's Indomie noodles that Dylan begged me to make. I'm done, y'all. Tomorrow, we're on a holiday, so I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna relax. I just gotta clean the kitchen a little bit. Got some wine. Yeah. But I'll see you guys. Should I, I might, I might just close out this, this, this vlog because you see me throughout the whole weekend. So I really might just close out this vlog. Yeah, probably. Well, guys, it's been real. I'm going to do more of these. But, yeah, the vlog is over. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you loveys later. Bye.